lovely smashing. Oh, what is? Wow! What a nice pool! Uh, yes! Isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about to swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is. Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? Oi, oh, you boys. You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Dash, dash, dash. <laughs> oh! The ground's too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! My old pogo stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads! Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha! Uh, uh. The heavier we are, the better. Room for one more. And me. That's right, lads. Here we go. Well, we made a hole, all right. And we've discovered a secret cave under my garden. Can you believe it? Yeah, there could be anything down here. Including water for our pool. Come on, lads, let's explore. I don't know, Dan. It's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Dan? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations! Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there... Uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... As I was saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. <laughs> Your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping gators, a piranha, abandon ship, retreat, retreat. Ha ha! We've got the colonel on the run. Now all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oh, well, at least 
it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on. This looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. I think emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. What a cheek! After all that guff he gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Dennis left that door open to put me uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Oh, 
But the mission hasn't gone wrong. Don't worry, Curly will be here. <laughs> Made it. Did you get it? From my dad's DVD collection. Invasion of the Cosmic Space Slugs. Fantastic! We've got to watch it now! this movie. The star and director. What's it going to be called, Den? Uh, Den Dare versus the spider dog and uh, pie tin monster from the moon of a menacing five. Ready, set, go! Oh, uh, hang on, Den. It's not in focus. No alien menace will get past Den Dare! <laughs> Can we do a take two, then? <sighs> Meow! Hang on. What was that? An alien robot meow. Aliens don't meow. They growl. How do you know? Have you ever heard an alien growl? Oh, try again. Go for it! <laughs> Result! That's it for Dende Space Station. Now we need to find an alien landing place. Aha! Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Isenthoid is non scriptus. Hmm, a common bluebell. <laughs> <gasps> How careless! Strange footprints. Somebody needs to be told to watch their step. Uh, it still looks like a playhouse to me. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've still got to add me special effect. Hey, Nasha! <laughs> In you go, Pie Face. This is where the aliens appear for the first time. Uh. What do I say, Den? This planet is ours for the taking! Got it. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. This planet is ours for the taking. And go, Pie Face! Go, Nasha! Oh my goodness! It, it, it can't be, can it? A spaceship? <gasps> oh no! A 
a spaceman! And a hairy spider monster! He's taken his eyes for the planet! Oh, aliens do exist! And they're invading Beano Town! I must warn humanity! This planet is ours for the taking! From me. Hey. Aliens! I've seen them, I tell you! Eh? What? Aliens, you say? Yes! Look! This taking is ours for the planet! Robot aliens? Spider creatures! And I just made myself a cup of tea and I saw this giant silver man walk past my kitchen window! I mean, if I could just call you back. No, it were terrible. Scared the living daylights out of me. I was just taking me pie out of the oven and this flying saucer swooped down and stole me wheelie bin. Oh, I nearly dropped me pie, I did. Oh, have you seen them too? Oh, I don't know where they're from. I'll be there as, uh, as soon as I can. Oh. Did they? Did they really? Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Those players at the bottom of the garden told me this would happen. They did. Well, uh, the space aliens have arrived, people, so uh, here's a track to mark the uh, end of the world, all right? Aliens! Oh, cool! Danger won't let you invade his planet! OK, OK, we surrender, Den! And cut! So, that's it, then? I guess. Although a big disaster scene with loads of extras would make it mega special. Run for your lives. This is preposterous. What's going on? It's the end of the world! Aliens have invaded! <laughs> There's one of them! <laughs> Oops. Are we in trouble? Brilliant! What? This is great! Put your helmets back on and chase people! It'll look fantastic! <sighs> OK, if you say so. Right, uh, 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 you lot stay here, uh, and uh, I I'm going in. Let me come with you, Sergeant. No, Constable. This uh, uh, this is something I have to do alone. Oh, be careful, Sergeant. What is it, man? What have you found? Glow sticks I I in a playhouse. Oh, do you realise your little hoax has caused widespread panic? But I thought I was sure I... Really, Walter, I expect better from you. Very poor show. But... 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 Uh... I want a handwritten apology to every resident of Beano Town. On my desk, first thing. Yes, Mrs Creature.
Regulation, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. I, I mean, injuring yourselves. Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pieface, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety in it. More than my job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that. 
Oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and bouncy castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Come, bouncy castle. A bee do a poo! <laughs> hey, B, look. It's not my fault. You just can't! Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't you going to like? Bee? Bee flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <sighs> I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Oh, Dennis! What do you think of this then, Nashie? Skateboarding without the effort. <laughs> 
Okay, hold tight. What is it, Nasha? Oi! And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm, all right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Thing, dear. Uh, yeah. Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> 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 to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! Okay! Go! to it, we'll both be in big trouble. Come on, Nasha. We've got to get back before Mum does. Yeah! You dreadful little gutter snipe. Total lack of discipline. I blame the parents. Oh, where's Mum's material? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! It's taken me years to get this so perfect! Years! And now look at it! Ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't! I'm confiscating it! It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Shh. 
surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So, the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Natcha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. for a tactical withdrawal. And as for you, Dennis, I... And what on earth is that doing there? No, Dad! Material back safely. Keep painting. She'll be here any minute. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Oh, that is nice. You can hang the curtains now. Certainly, dear. And Dennis would love to help, wouldn't you? Of course, Dad. Go and get the material then, son. Oh, no. Not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh! Jen, can we set up in the 
the treehouse. Not yet, Pieface. Mum and Dad are still here. And remember how they moaned last time we played? We could try playing a bit softer. It wouldn't be much of a video for the din makers then, would it? Anyway, Athena wants it loud. Now she thinks she's a music video director. But she did say she'd show it to her dad, Dan. Yeah. If she thinks it's cool, she's going to play it to Rat Bucket. And if he thinks it's cool, whoa! So, we better be nice to her. Now, I've just got to get rid of Mum and Dad. What? You said you were going off to a meeting. You said you were going to be gone all day. We are. It's a special meeting of the Neighbourhood Watch next door. For young people. The Mayor's coming. The Colonel says you must be there. He wants you to help him with his talk. It'll be a nice way to make up for the trouble you caused him. It wasn't my fault his window was broken. I insist you go. It's the only way he's going to forgive us. Now go and get changed, or I'll be confiscating that guitar of yours. What? <laughs> guitar? Not today! Nasha, you're going to have to warn Curly and Pieface <gasps> that we've been caught for this meeting, that it's next door, that we'll escape as soon as we can, that... <laughs> OK, I'll write a note. Just grab a trouser leg in your teeth and hold them till they've read it. <laughs> to be a fine young man years later, and we can only hope that that is the case here. <laughs> Did you give him the note? <laughs> Was Athena there? Some of you may have heard of the Mayor's new campaign. Young Street Heroes, it's called. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll do this if you don't mind. Yes, it's an award for youngsters who contribute most to their neighbourhood. Like our very own Walter, for example. Athena will be there by now. We have to go! And now, how youngsters can help protect our neighbourhood. Lights, please, Walter. Head for the toilet, OK? <laughs> how to recognise a bad type. First, notice the eyes. Where's Athena? Oh, yeah. She texted to say she's going to be late. Oh, no! I'll have to get back then. Mum will go mad if she finds I'm not there. And Athena will go mad if she finds you're not here. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Thanks, Pie Face. Just let me know the moment she arrives. Right. I'll do one of me bird calls. Easy to slip back in the dark. Ah, that's right. Up you come. As I was saying, I've specially invited two well-known local hooligans to join us. Justin, one, two, three... And so, thanks to forward planning, the hooligans are disarmed. They're gonna start playing! If anyone hears them, we're done for! Talking earlier about noise pollution, Colonel. Uh, can we give you a demonstration? My face! I think I see Athena! I can't hear you! Yes, yes, that's enough. Thank you. That's very good. All right. Quiet. Quiet! It's wonderful to be able to call on genuine troublemakers from the locale. In order to the steps we are that means Athena must be there. We can't keep her waiting or she'll throw a wobbler. What are you doing, Dennis? Uh, you know, I needed the toilet before. Uh, well, I'll do again. <laughs> and so does Nasha. OK, Nasha, you wait here. If I'm needed, bark loudly. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Athena. Uh, what's happening?
thing. You owe me one, Dennis. I'm missing my nail therapist because of these idiots. We're fixing it. It's just a small explosion type thing. Can't they speed it up a bit? <laughs> no. What? Not you. Uh, no. Yes, they can. And I'm going to help too. I think I saw a loose wire uh, under the stage. I'll be back in a minute. I'm warning you. Five minutes, then I'm taking my talent elsewhere. Give us a signal the moment you're ready. I'll do me owl. Oh, wait. What happens if a real owl flies past? It won't sound like yours. Yes, up here. Up here this way. Now, let's see what happens when a young hooligan tries to pick the lock on Walter's special lunchbox. I don't pick locks. I've never picked a lock in my life. Go on, try then. <laughs> 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 Can I go now? <laughs> As you can see, that's one padlock that won't be picked. Ooh that's my face. we got to go. Dennis, are you all right? Uh, yeah, Mum, uh, but... Uh... Oh, you're very hot for someone who's just been sitting still. Perhaps you should go home. Home? Yes, uh, great idea. I'll come with you. Actually, uh, it might be better to stay here, in the quiet. You go back to your seat. Oh, if you're sure. But I don't want to see you stirring from here. We've got to go! Athena will be going mad! His Worship, the Mayor! No! Oh, how do we get past that lot? <laughs> you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Uh, yes, and uh, the elasticity is uh, really quite surprising, Your Worship. <laughs> it's OK, Poochie. It's only Nasher. <laughs> I don't think so, Dennis. It's so last millennium. It's OK. I'm going to change. Start the intro, guys. and they lower the tone of the neighbourhood. Dennis, I am going to make an example of you. Yes, you, because you're not like the others. I heard the gentle music you were playing. I saw you rescue that poor pup from the tree. And I heard from your mother that you've not been feeling at all well, too. Come forward, young man. You and your faithful hound are young street heroes! Yeah! Young street heroes? <laughs> Not a bad name for a band. <laughs> <laughs> The 
voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. Huh? Huh? There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Oh. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! <laughs> One of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town. The mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town. <laughs> What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a... a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature! Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm... Wind-power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans! <laughs> are good for the heart and they help to make me rocket start. Eat up, B. Mm. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground! Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look! Your foot! Uh -huh. You noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That's blown, that idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? <sighs> ah, yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Cheer up, Nasha. After I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis. I do not 
not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. It's that boy again! Incredible! He never stops! Now what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel! <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space! Keep shoveling, Nasha. We need more energy. Oh, Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town. It's not possible. Is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal? I must be dreaming. So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK. Helmets on. <laughs> This is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Okay! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest! Not about my wind power! Water feature and my sh shush, Walter. Uh, great, thanks. Gotta go. <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to. Oh. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin foil toffee wrappers. Well done, Go Dennis! On, Good lad! Uh, thanks. Great. Goodbye! <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town. Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump! <laughs> no, Walter. That's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy! You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> 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 